welcome back to The Rookie, the Brisbane Bandits hot new baseball show. The show to watch for the love of the game and to open up a whole new world of what baseball, the game, is all about. The superstars, the fans, all the ins and outs about what makes this legendary game tick and most of all, why this is a great game for you and your family to be a part of. I'm your host, Campo. Coming up on The Rookie, Brisbane Bandits General Manager Paul Gonzalez will join us to give us a rundown about the Bandits' chances in this year's ABL, Australian Baseball Competition. Paul also has some incredibly exciting news about the Bandits teaming up with another Queensland champion sporting team to support the Royal Brisbane and Women's Hospital. Now, if you've ever wondered what the hell the sign language the guys on the bases are always giving each other... the time to find out. Shane Watson, the third base coach for the Brisbane Bandits, is going to take us through the process step by step. He catches up now with Bandits' Whitey Wallace. Hey, hey. So I'm here with Shane Watson. He's the third base coach for the Brisbane Bandits. What's the third base coach? The third base coach is the person who gives all these mumbo jumbo signs. So Shane, it, it, I think that it starts with an indicator, correct? And it, explain to us what an indicator is. Yeah, an indicator is, uh, I guess, what starts the sign. So I guess our secret communication to our guys on base is always going to start with an indicator. And then, uh, then we'll go with touches after the indicator. So for a quick example, an indicator might be the watch, okay? And then it'll be the counts of touches to my body after I touch the watch. One touch is going to be a steal. Two touches is going to be a bunt. Three touches to my body will be a hit and run. Okay, so immediately after I touch my watch, I'll go one, two, three, which is a hit and run. Three touches is a hit and run. All right, so we'll see how we go. See if you guys can get it. All right, so I'm going to go nice and slow. Indicators my watch. Indicators the watch. Okay, go chest. All right, did you guys get that? I touched it twice. So for us, that's a bunt. Okay, so here we go. We'll try it one more time, nice and slow. I'm going to try a, a, a steal. Let me try a steal sign, which is one touch. All right, you guys get that one. All right, third time. Here we go. We'll try a real tricky one, yeah? We'll try oh, a tricky one? Yeah, Shane, I, I like that. So let's test them at home. Let's give them a few seconds. Give them a sign. Do it nice and slow first, and give them about a couple seconds to see if they can decide what it, if they know what it is. All right, so we'll see how you get it. So first one is the steal. Second one's a punt. Third one's a hit and run for this one. So we got punt. Steel. Steel. Hit and run. All right, ready? All right, you guys get two on that one? All right, excellent. Now, Shane, do it at the speed that you would normally do it to the players for the bandits and see if people can pick it All up. All right, here we go. Ready? All right, you guys get that one? I got two. All right, thank you. So I'm, again, I'm here with Shane Watson showing the cryptic way to get signals to the players on the team so that the other side can't see. But we're playing Sydney tonight, so we sure didn't give the ones that we're using tonight no. right, Shane. No, Those no are chance. just hypothetical ones. So thank you, Shane. Thank you very much, and good luck tonight. Coming up after the break, General Manager of the Brisbane Bandits, Paul Gonzalez, has some very exciting news about the Bandits joining forces with another Queensland champion sporting team. We'll find out who that is after... That means we're going to a break. Woo -hoo -hoo. 